This was the moment Michelle Owen became president. The former general and interim prime minister, who was closely allied with the Iranian-backed Hezbollah movement, spoke shortly after the announcement. I swear to God the Great that I will respect the Constitution and its laws and preserve the independence of the Lebanese nation and its territorial integrity. Michelle Owen is well known in Lebanese politics. Analysts say he's been attempting to return to the presidential palace since 1990. That's when he went into exile in France after opposing a deal which ultimately led to the end of the Lebanese civil war. His alliance with the Hezbollah movement and a surprise endorsement from former Prime Minister Saad Hariri has helped him now get the top job. However, few see Michel Owen as a president who will unite Lebanon after years of political deadlock. Already the discourse of the Aounis has been very anti-refugee, has been incredibly xenophobic, very racist. I mean, they've really championed this discourse in Lebanon over under the rubric of protecting Lebanon's identity. So my concern is that this is going to increase tremendously. Former Prime Minister Hariri said he was backing his longtime rival for the good of the country. Political analysts say his support for Aoun underscores his own weakened position within his future movement party, which is Sunni-dominated. Poor election results in areas of Beirut and Tripoli, coupled with his own financial difficulties, has seen Hariri's popularity on the slide. But it's the apparent weakening of his relationship with his longtime ally Saudi Arabia which seems to have hit him the hardest. Earlier this year, the Saudi government cancelled billions of dollars in military support to Lebanon after expressing anger at the growing influence of Hezbollah, which is backed by Iran. Saudi Arabia's shifting interests, uh, its shifting position in the region, it has a war in Yemen, it has other domestic issues to deal with. So it's shifting priorities, basically. As part of the deal that led to his endorsement of Aoun, Hariri is expected to be appointed prime minister, a powerful role that may help ease Lebanon's tensions with Saudi Arabia. To say Michelle Aoun's entree as president is overflowing would be an understatement. Lebanon is the Middle East's most indebted country. Unemployment is at 24 percent and it's sheltering one and a half million Syrian refugees. Add to that, it's struggling to provide basic services like electricity, water and rubbish collection. And while some are already questioning Aoun's ability to tackle these many issues, Many are just relieved that somebody's been appointed president to at least try. Impiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Beirut.